Hey, so once you've built love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to share with you the single most important tactic that I employ to go to war with shaitan and stop my worst and most toxic habits, um, among which are uh, cursing. I had a sailor mouth, subhanAllah, and unbridled rage. I'm, you know, I'm still on the fiery side, but no, not like I used to, man. SubhanAllah, I used to have some serious anger issues. And it's to set up a punishment framework for yourself. Now, you need to build love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first so that you, you can come from the right place. Then you set up a wallahi, you swear to Allah that you are going to own up to this, like for any amount of time. Like, so for the next month, every time I curse, I'm going to pray two rakat. And now you are going to be in, doing it over and over again that you're going to be setting up this rakat debt, rakat debt, where you're going to be praying a bunch. And subhanAllah, you would be getting so many good deeds that shaitan is even going to help you stop the bad habit because shaitan doesn't want you doing all that good stuff he doesn't want you and so um also if your uh bad habit is so bad that like it's worth a little more than two rakat then make it 10 make it 20 every time you do it you know depending on whatever uh the habit is or you can set it up for sadaqah too you give more money more money more money and you scale it to how bad the sin is but don't cheat yourself up make it make it hurt man make it hurt because subhanallah you will notice that there's gonna come a point where you would have prayed so much and you would have uh you know paid so much <laughs> that right before you're gonna do it you're gonna think twice you're gonna stop and be like, ah, ah, and then shaitan is going to help you out because he would prefer you to stop the good deed instead of doing these good things. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in all of our efforts to uh, stop bad deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean.